I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to get credits in Brawl Stars. Credits are by far the most important currency. If you don't know how to get them properly, it can take you way longer to get every brawler. So today, I'll be showing you two forms of ways to get credits, practical and impractical. Practical means that this is the most consistent way to get credits over a long period of time. And impractical means it's very inconsistent and should really only be considered if you really need credits, which you probably do. Now, the first method you all probably know is the Brawl Pass. So the free Brawl Pass offers 1,000 credits if you fully complete it. It's definitely a solid method for getting credits as you can complete the pass every single month, especially if you buy the Brawl Pass, which will give you 3,000 credits. If you don't have every brawler, you can either unlock one at tier 30 or save those credits for next season. One thing to also keep in mind is that the Brawl Pass Plus offers no extra credits. This pass mainly offers more cosmetics and not progression. Overall, the Brawl Pass is easily one of the most practical ways to unlock credits. Next, we have Daily Rewards. Every now and then, you have a chance to earn credits from the free Daily Rewards. If this wasn't obvious, this is a very impractical way to get credits. But if you still want to increase every chance to get credits, then be sure to buy the Brawl Pass for that extra reward slot and log in every day. Because once every month, you're guaranteed to hit a jackpot. Now, this next way is actually something very little players know about, and that is the Supercell Store. If you buy any Brawl Stars items on this website, you earn points on a track which will earn you in-game items, and this includes credits. Granted, you have to buy quite a bit of stuff to actually earn these credits, but if you always use this website to buy gems and Brawl Passes, it's an investment that'll eventually get you some credits. At the end of the day, unless you're constantly buying things, this is definitely an impractical way to gain more credits. Alright, so this next method may seem bad on paper, but can actually have a huge credit payoff, and that's Star Drops. Now, Star Drops definitely aren't a very popular thing, but if you know how to farm them, you have a good chance of getting thousands of credits. Normally, rare and super rare drops give pretty much no credits, but legendary Star Drops can give you anywhere from 500 to 1000 credits. Now, getting legendary Star Drops sounds hard, but if you hit Masters every season and complete the free pass, that's at least 4 legendaries every month, which is a huge chance to get lots of credits. Overall, Star Drops are pretty mixed, Hard to say whether it's practical or not because it is luck based, but if you consistently grind those legendaries, I think you can secure at least 500 credits every month. Another part of credits I want to talk about before getting to this last method is the fact that you can swap credits between brawlers you're unlocking. This isn't a feature that will actually get you more credits, but what people have actually done before is stored up credits on a high rarity brawler like Mythic or Legendary, and then swap those credits over to a brand new brawler, almost as if you're treating the old brawler like a credit bank. This is a really underrated way to start unlocking any of those other brawlers that you just don't have, especially with Legendaries, because in my opinion, not many of the Legendaries are like super broken right now, other than Chester, Meg, and like Sandy. But if you already have at least one or two of those, in my opinion, it'd be best to just swap over to one of the new broken brawlers, like Clancy, for example. Now, before I go over this last method of getting credits, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going for a goal of 5,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world to me if you guys subscribed. Okay, so this last method to get credits is arguably the easiest, and that is Masteries. So for every brawler, Bronze 3 and Silver 3 gives you credits. And with Bronze 3 being super easy to grind, and 82 brawlers in the game, if you grind all of them to Silver 3, that would get you over 18,000 credits. Granted, it'll take you quite a bit of time to get all brawlers to Silver 3. I mean, not even I have every brawler to Silver 3. But even getting them to Bronze 3 is easy enough, and it'll still give you credits. So grinding your masteries is a very practical way to get credits. And one thing to consider is actually combining all of these last methods I've mentioned. What I mean by that is that you can earn mastery points in ranked. And if you also do your quest while playing ranked, this would be the absolute best way to earn credits as fast as possible. Just remember, earning credits takes a consistent grind, but as long as you follow this guide, you'll be maximizing your credits and will soon unlock every brawler. Again, don't forget to subscribe for more of my Brawl Stars guides. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.